Hi, my name is Bill Gens. I'm the technical director here at Missler Software in the USA. In this getting started video tutorial, we're going to go over a couple of things. I'm going to introduce you to how you can create exploded assemblies within Top Solid 7, and I'm going to show you various ways to use those exploded assemblies through the use of drafting and something called a mounting animation and mounting stages. With all of these tools, you will be able to quickly define and illustrate the proper way to assemble or disassemble your assembly. Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create exploded assemblies. I thought it would be fun to learn how to do this using a fun little Lego guy. So special thanks to GrabCAD for uh, making the Lego guy available, made life a little simple. What I did was I imported this Lego assembly into Top Solid. Uh, just for fun, I made it so that he could move because what Lego guy out there in the universe doesn't like to move, right? So as you can see, everything articulates as it should. He can spin his head around and around. That's lots of fun too. Now, in all reality, what we're going to do with this is we're going to turn this into an exploded document. To give you an idea what that looks like, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the one that I've already completed. Here, you can see I've exploded our Lego guy. Now, I'm going to go over all the steps in this video series on how to create this explosion. I'm also going to introduce you to something called mounting animations. What is a mounting animation? Well, let's have a look. Here, you can see in this animation that I'm showing you exactly what you need to do to assemble your little Lego dude. Pretty cool. Now, some of the things you can do with mounting animations are this. You can create what we call mounting stages. Now, a mounting stage, uh, pardon me, a mounting stage allows you to illustrate exactly every single step of the assembly process. How is that useful? Well, as it turns out, we can take all of that and turn it into a lovely little assembly document to show your customer how to assemble your assembly. So in this case, you can see here step one, two, three, four, five, and so on, all the way through completion of assembling our little Lego dude. I even took the main assembly and threw it in here, added a bill of material to it, and just for good fun, I added imagery of each of the parts to our bill of material. So these are some of the things you're going to learn in this tutorial. Hope you enjoy yourself.